Well, this doesn't always happen, but we're getting another Rockstar Grand Theft Auto story today to go over. From IGN, once again, former Rockstar North president's lawsuit against Take-Two has hit a snag. So a lot of you probably are aware of you know, former Rockstar president Leslie Benzies, who was a very important figure in Rockstar history. A lot of the 3D Grand Theft Auto games, Red Dead Redemption, and the success of Grand Theft Auto V has a lot to do with the hard work he did behind the scenes over the past several years at Rockstar. Now, there was apparently a falling out. Benzies took some leave, and when he came back, he no longer had a job. A lot of the internal things that transpired, we still don't know about. It's probably under NDA, and we may never know exactly what happened between Leslie Benzies and the Housers, which caused a rift to occur. Former president of Rockstar North, Leslie Benzies, has hit a bump in the road in his lawsuit against Take-Two Interactive after a New York Supreme Court ruled in favor of the publisher when it came to the subject of royalties, which forms the crux of Benzies' suit. Benzies sued Take-Two for $150 million after taking a lengthy sabbatical in September 2014. He claimed that the company tried to force him out, saying that Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar, and the Hauser Brothers were withholding royalties. The recent ruling states that the uh, 2009 royalty plan signed by Benzies, quote-unquote, provides the discretionary royalty payments by the Accolation Committee and contains no language mandating equal payments to the principals, quote-unquote. Benzies had argued that the Housers received more money from the agreement than he did at his expense. The ruling has put an end to that aspect of the case, but he still, quote-unquote, remains entitled to receive certain royalties as part of his compensation. The case still has legs, though, as the document continues. The complaint sufficiently alleges a breach of the 2012 employment agreement based on salary and stock allegedly withheld from the plaintiff. Since its 2013 launch, Grand Theft Auto V has done amazingly well, selling more than 90 million units and raking in a profit of $6 billion. We went over that in um, a video earlier, so you can go check that out as well if you want to find out more about Grand Theft Auto V, the $6 billion game. Whether this case is specifically about money or because of other issues that we're not aware of because of, once again, NDA, internal issues that may have transpired that caused a rift between Benzies and the Housers, once again remains to be seen. It is unfortunate that Leslie Benzies is no longer working at Rockstar North because of what he brought to the table. I mean, he has a long, proud track record of successful games that he helped produce like all the uh, Grand Theft Auto 3D games, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, as well as his tremendous work in helping uh, fix Red Dead Redemption, along with Grand Theft Auto 4, and of course Grand Theft Auto 5. Whatever the outcome of this case is, I hope that Rockstar has moved on and are still able to give us a fantastic game coming up in October with Red Dead Redemption 2. And I also wish the best of luck to Benz because, like I said, he's a phenomenal developer and video game producer. He even has his own studios now, and apparently he's working on a game or several games. And I hope that that turns out to be a success for him. And it's a game that millions of people across the world will enjoy playing. So I hope that somehow in time that whatever the wound that was formed between Benzies and the Hauser brothers can heal. But at this point, I seriously doubt that wound will ever heal. But in conclusion, I feel like Benzies has a better case against Rockstar and Take-Two than Lindsay Lohan. <laughs>